If you're going to pitch into one of the most closely fought sectors of the market, you'd better have something very impressive to offer if you're going to stand any chance of success. Sayat has exactly that in the form of this Attica model, a car likely to become a very significant player in the segment for Qashqai class family sized compact crossovers and SUVs. There's certainly plenty here to tempt buyers away from the established class leaders. You wouldn't expect a compact crossover of this kind to be very good to drive, but as you'll discover when you hit a few twisty roads in this Attica, a pleasant surprise is in store with this one. Drive at seven or eight tenths and there's pretty much no difference between the dynamic responses you'll get from this Seat and those of the Leon hatchback it's based on. Only when you really push on do you realize the limitations of this model's high stance and its relatively basic torsion beam suspension system that comes fitted to most models. Ultimately though, it's all proof that lighter weight, a simpler, stiffer chassis and fearsome electric power steering can be enough in the hands of the right engineers, of course, to create a confident and engaging package. The engines help too. The mainstream range built around 1 litre and 1.4 litre TSI petrol units and 1.6 and 2 litre TDI diesels. All are pretty frugal with a 1.6 litre TDI capable of 65.7 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 113 grams per kilometre of CO2. You'll need a 2 litre power plant if you want the option of 4 drive 4x4 four four traction, an on demand Haldex system that brings the rear wheels into play if a lack of traction demands it. All well and good, but you don't buy a compact crossover for its off road prowess. In fact, until this Attica came along, uh, you wouldn't have bought one for its on road prowess either. This Seat changes things in that regard with a degree of driver involvement you can control via the drive profile vehicle dynamic system that comes fitted to most variants and which can alter the steering and the throttle feel to suit the way you want to drive. The head of Seat Design, Alejandro Mesonero Romanos, says that the Attica is a car that could only have been created in Barcelona. Well, perhaps, but what's important is that Seat's first ever SUV is a decently good looking thing. Confident in proportions that almost down to the millimetre replicate those of its model's arch rival, Nissan's Qashqai. Now that surely can't be a coincidence. The way the whole thing's packaged though is of course quite different, especially here at the front where a large high set grille, sharply defined lights and substantial air intakes nicely set off the broad muscular stance. Time to take a seat inside where it's, well, it's basically a sail Leon with a better view out. It would have been nice perhaps if the Spaniards had been able to give this cabin more of a unique and more fashionable feel in the way that some rivals do. Uh, with a base spec trim level, it can all seem rather plain in here. But that said, there's not a lot wrong with that Leon layout and you'll certainly enjoy better all-round visibility that comes with this Attica's slightly higher perch. So time to take a seat in the rear. Now the rear doors are a good size and they open wide enough to make access easy. Now once inside you'll find another thing that might sell you this car over a competing Nissan Qashqai. Slightly better standards of rear seat room. Now in truth there isn't really any more space here than you get in Seat's Leon hatch but the high roof line certainly makes it feel more spacious and the way it's all been uh, packaged gives you the impression that you could take three adults here if need be and that's something that would be quite a squash in that rival Nissan. Out back there's a decently sized 510 litre boot that's a full 80 litres bigger than that of the rival Qashqai and it can be extended to as much as 1604 litres if you push forward these split folding rear seat backs. More perhaps than any other model Seat makes, this one actually delivers on its brand promises of a more interesting and involving drive. Plus, it'll help enormously that this car's also well priced, good looking, and for the most part, pretty well equipped. In short, there's plenty to like here. I mean, it may have had a bit of a siesta before joining the class, but this Seat has proved to be more than worth the wait.